Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this beautiful sticker animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I thumbed After Effects and first we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one text. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps. Duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we have our composition. First, let's create our text by selecting the text tool. Just simply click and you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type. So here I have my text. Now let's align it in the middle of this composition. If you want, you can play around with this scale as well. There you go. Now we have our text. Now once you have this, we can create one more composition and let's call this one look. And inside this, we are going to drag our text comp. Now on this one we want to have little bit of depth so for that we can select this press ctrl d and on the bottom one we can apply the fill effect search for fill and let's drag it onto this and on the top one as well let's apply fill and let's change its color to a little bit of this color somewhere around here now we can select this bottom layer and let's search for cc radial blur let's drag it onto this and also we can apply one more effect let's search for curves drag it over here now under the CC radial, we can change the type to fading zoom and let's increase the amount. You can see we are able to see these lines and we can play around with the center as well. So if I click and just place it over here, now you can see all of these lights are going down. Now we can play around with the curve. So let's change this to alpha and we can click somewhere in the middle and then just drag it up. So you can see that it will make these lines like a little bit harsh, which gives us this 3D depth look. There you go. Now we can play around with it with the amount of it by simply lowering down its value so somewhere around here now you can play around with the direction of it by simply using the center you can just move it however you want you can make it come from this side or this but for this one i'm going to like place it somewhere around here and after that we can lower down the amount so that we have this little bit of thicker strokes there you go now at last we also want some outline around this so for that we can select this base layer right click let's go to layer and let's enable the stroke under the stroke we can simply increase the size of it so now you can see we have this very nice thick stroke around this now we can play around with this color as well so let's just make it a little bit this and we can change the overall color of it as well there you go now we have this look now once you have this we can add white outline to this as well so for that let's select the base layer press ctrl d and onto this one all we have to do is just change the color to white and let's search for stroke and let's open it up let's change its color to white and let's increase the amount as well so it's completely up to you, you can just increase it to whatever amount you want so i think this looks good now here you can see we are getting the sticker look if you want you can play around with the size to make it like a little bit more outline around it but for now i'm going to set this to let's say 30 i think this looks good now we can animate it by simply creating a new composition let's call this one main width and height will be 19 20 by 1080 rest of things will remain same just click on ok now at the background you can import whatever image or video you want i'm going to use this one let's just scale this down and on top of this let's import our sticker so we can just import this look comp there you go now first we can add some drop shadow to this so let's search for drop shadow let's drag it onto this now we can increase the opacity let's increase the softness as well now we can increase the distance and let's just play around with the opacity a little bit more there you go now we have this very nice shadow now to animate it we can search for an effect called cc page turn Let's drag it onto this. Now, in order to animate this, all you have to do is just play around with this fold position. So you can see we have this point. And if I place it over here, you can see our sticker is visible. But if I move it to this side, you can see it will start folding like that. Now, there are a couple of things that you can play around. For example, I want the back opacity to like 100%. Now we can just increase the radius. So let's just set this to 100 so that we have this sort of sticker look now you can animate it by simply moving it out of this frame so that it is not visible let's add a keyframe for fold position let's press u let's move somewhere around two seconds now we can bring this back so here you can see we have our sticker coming in 
now we can select these keyframes press f9 to easy ease them let's go to the graph editor and we can change the graph to look like this now if i press play you can see we have this sticker folding animation in our composition now the best thing about this method is that it's completely procedural so if i go inside the text and i change this to whatever i want so for example if i type hello and i go back you can see our text has changed and all the effects are already applied now if you want you can also add some shape layers let me just quickly show you so over here we have our text let's align it in the middle now let's select the shape tool now you can create whatever kind of shape you want i'm going to create a simple rectangle let's just align it over here let's place it down below now for the color we can just select this and let's just make it dark so let's select this and we can make it dark color now we can go back and in this composition we can play around with all of these colors so for example we can remove the fill now we can select both of these and let's search for color now we can change this color to yellow and we can change this to yellow as well or we can make this one black and this one as black as well there you go now we have changed the look and if i go back to our main composition you can see we have completely redefined our sticker and if i press play you can see all the animations are already applied so in this way you can create these kind of procedural stickers and you can just simply change them or edit them by changing the text or adding whatever shape you want at last you can stylize this mode by adding a little bit of posterized timing effect so let's add an adjustment layer now let's search for posterize time and let's drag it on to this composition under this we can change the frame rate to 12 so what this will do it will give you a little bit of choppy sort of frame by frame animation look so if i press play you can see now it's not that smooth but it gives you a little bit of more hand animated sort of thing so in this way you can create these kind of sticker animations in after effects and you can customize them however you want now the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one